It's here. The red one, of course. Not the blue. Well, this is it. Just got it off the truck. Branson 2515H. The uh, got a third function. This is new, actually. The buttons in the back. So I think I'm gonna like that pretty good. <clears throat> Cruise control. Independent uh, PTO. Ignition switch. Analog instrumentation. Uh, horn. <laughs> It works. Turn indicators. There are no. Uh, there's. There's no windshield washers. <laughs> um, this is the emergency brake. The uh, hydro pedals, forward and reverse. <clears throat> the uh, three-point hitch. Um, relief valve, four wheel drive, and differential lock, range selector, lift. Um, there's no, there's no um, way to set the lift. I'm probably going to fix that. Put something in here to um, that way you can drop it to the same location every time here are the i got rear remotes here are the level levers for the rear remotes um and you got one that's momentary here and then you got one detent here's the Here's the remotes for those, uh, the rear remotes that we were just playing with. They hook to the, they hook to the block here. And here's the controls that go up to those levers. The stabilizer bars are the pin, pin type. It's got, uh, The side adjustment, the three-point hitch. Um, I'm probably going to be adding the uh, hydraulic cylinder here so I can control it with my remotes. It's got the standard lift arms. I've already got some Pat's um, uh, quick hitch, easy hitch system I'm going to install on these. <clears throat> these tires are a little bit smaller than what comes on the 3015. Uh, not by much, but they're a little bit smaller. Um, so there's that. Easy access to filters. I believe that's the hydraulic filters. Good beefy axle. Four wheel drive. See, this is a I believe it's a 60 inch bucket it's a 62 inch bucket 62 inches I believe that's so it will clear the rear treads so I just measured outside the outside it's just barely over 60 so um, probably going to get a going to get an everything attachments uh, box for this, and I think I'm going to go with a 66 inch box. Some people may say it's too big. Uh, I guess we'll find out. But it's I feel more comfortable getting the 66 inch box and covering my tire tracks um, than getting a 60 and not being big enough. 
<clears throat> don't want to go too big but uh, every everyone that I've talked to um, says that the number one thing you want to do with a box blade is get one big enough to cover your treads so that's what I'm gonna do turn indicators birds already pooped on my new tractor <clears throat> back around to the seat it's um, fully adjustable this one I'm a big guy and this this tractor actually gives me a good bit of room uh, leg room it's uh, it's width wise it's a little smaller than um, the next size up tractor but um, I need to lose some weight anyway <clears throat> uh, there's the stands for the loader got a BL uh, 150 loader I believe the lift capacity on this um, this is an exact number but it's right at 2200 pounds um, it's got the inset grease fittings um, detachable loader there's the stands I think I already said that um, no tie rods to get bent so that's nice this this I love this that gas tank or fuel tank is down low at the operator station so much easier to get to um, there's the hookups for the third function so got that um, bucket level indicator it's got the uh, kind of rest kind of I think Kubota's is similar to that <coughs> it's got uh, easy access filter uh, easy access um, oil dipstick easy access uh, water separator I believe that is and uh, let's see let's pop the hood so the to pop the hood first we need to move uh, pull the pin on the brush guard and oh gonna have to raise the loader I'm afraid so I'll be right back okay I went ahead and raised the loader up uh, fairly high I don't really like the idea of working in here uh, with the loader up I'll probably build some uh, brackets to go on these cylinders that uh, you see at tractor shows and such that support this loader for safety purposes but we're going to take a look under here all right there is the engine notice no dpf i like that that's one reason i went with the uh this new 25 um, 25 horse model it is, it's 104 cubic inch, the um, same engine that is put into the 30 and 35 horse models. It's just this one has no DPF. Uh, it's exactly the same engine. Um, the only difference is they have uh, turned the fuel down on this tractor, turned the horse, detuned it a little bit. Um, so there you go there. radiator um, air filter and um, oil cooler there's the it's got a radiator screen just take this screw out right here I believe it slides out this way yep Just a muffler. That's awesome. Working 
headlights. Hear that click? That's the hood closing all the way. Yeah, that makes me nervous with the uh, bucket up in the air like that. But uh, it's easy to make these uh, safe safety braces. You uh, just angle iron, cut to the length of the cylinder open. You just zip tie it shut. That way the cylinders can't close. And uh, take care of that. That's how they work. Do them at the shows. And I imagine if it satisfies insurance liabilities, then it should be fairly safe for crawling up under the hood. And um, I'll probably take this loader off at some point just to... Um, see how it's done make sure I can do it um, six year powertrain warranty and uh, I like this new feature I hadn't seen I didn't see these at the lot which um, which I wasn't crazy about <clears throat> but the, the the new models have this the old ones don't but the um, valve stem guard the, the ones at the lot didn't have this so I was as a pleasant surprise to see that come in on the new tractor um, Branson, if, if, if you happen to see this video, um, I really miss the white wheels and, uh, I wish, wish you had stayed with white. Um, I, I like the red tractor, but the white wheels, um, that was a, something that set Branson apart. I really like that. I imagine it may be cheaper to have just one can of paint instead of two but uh, I'm just saying all right the um, did not come with very much fuel so that will be that will be something I have to go right right straight away and get all right cool I'm probably gonna move it now get it out of the front yard